In this game I played here, I tried to make Diana and Jenna carry work with one of the Dragon Lord augments, and of course, I get double contested. Here's an example of what to do when you get contested. So if I go third place and above, this is going to take me to Emerald. It's definitely taking me longer to climb compared to previous sets. I think it's set 10, it took me about 30 games before I started to pick up. But uh, set 11 is taking me a little longer. Probably because encounters are kind of throwing me off right now. But I also don't watch as much TFT content as I used to. And I also, I don't know. I've just been kind of lazy on set 11. I think my goal this this set is just master. In order for me to actually want to climb above master, it's gonna take me some time and dedication, which I don't think I have the patience for in set 11. But we'll see. A tear. That's not very helpful. Did anybody high roll anything illegal, like 3 fortune? Doesn't look like it. This exalted is apparently pretty good. Probably because Malphite and Kane together. Like Heavenly Kane Lee Sin or something like that. Enter the Dragon, Cluttered Mind, Ascension. I have a 2 star Kha'Zix and Thrash. So I have 2 Behemoth. Ascension is just not really that good. This is good if you want to play the Diana... Janna comp. I mean... Honestly, I could try it, but... I don't have the items for it, I don't think. Or maybe I do. Actually, I might give this a try. Let's play a random Kha'Zix. Okay, just, just two random units here. Support item. Uh, this is easy to rot, probably. I don't get punished this round, that's why I'm taking my time to pick my support item. There's a Jenna and Diana reroll comp. It becomes a lot better with this augment here. So I'm gonna give it a try. Here's a Sage. I don't know if I want to drop um, a Behemoth though. But yeah, let's get some more frontline. My problem right now is I don't really have a carry, but let's go for this uh, Dragon Lord Diana comp. This basically revolves like, around having good front lines, so that's why I took ZZ Rot here. Then you just build Archangels. Archangels, Shoujin, Rageblade on Janna. I honestly believe Diana is pretty underrated as a champion. She's pretty strong, has a lot of damage reduction in her kits. And because she's a sage, she actually gets some pretty nice omni map if you're playing two or three. Who started this guy? I'll take it if it's actually. This is probably stronger. If I keep the Thrash, that's my next in. Oh, they hit Sage. Don't tell me they're gonna contest me. I, I should have been paying attention for that. Okay, so there's a Mulch player, there's a Scapegoat. Build different, salvage bin, the piggy bank thing, probably just Kane, Morgana, stars are born.
I think I'm getting away with this board for the most part because of Kha'Zix. I don't get to win this 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 fight though. All right, worst case, I'll just play like Dragon Lord, Lee Sin or something. I don't know. I mean, here's there's a spat. That's pretty good. Heavenly spat is definitely balanced right now. I think Tear is good, Rod is good. Cloak is also fine. You need two Rod items on Janna, so... Rod is a good choice here. I feel like this person is going to go for the same comp as me. But I mean, if I'm hitting my units, I'm hitting my units. Two Sage is gonna help these guys up here, give her more AP. I might already have a two star Donna, so if it would be contested, I'd probably just push levels and then maybe level eight or nine, I can start rolling for it. Eight or nine, it just depends. I think Diana is really important in this comp to three star, so if you're contested, then you. Another thing I guess you could do is is go level and 9, find Hoi, and 3 star your unit that way. Mulched is definitely balanced right now. Also, this Nar is going to be a problem later. I can already tell. Banshees, mulched. That's not going to be very fun to play against. Jana 2 versus Kindred 1. Nice. Yeah, this uh this this NAR player is gonna be really irritating late game for everybody. Six radiant items for one round. Excuse me. Well, I mean. Uh sure. What is going on? I've never seen this encounter before. Six radiant items in one. Also, what the? Okay, I guess like okay, the game really just wants me to play Janna. That's fine. I'm okay with it. I, did I use my eight radiant items correctly? I, I mean, like Morella is pretty good. This guy just has like whatever eighty items, and then she has two ramping items. can't see my, my units because they're all HP bars glitched out. I would sell these two, but I'm, I'm planning on playing Janna reroll, so I'll hold on to them. If you natural them, you you just not, you just you keep them. My next in is just Soraka. Yeah, so the, the team comp looks like this. It's basically... You want uh, three story weavers, so, and then like the Sage champions as well. You could play Zyra, you don't have to though. And then you play Soraka, Lee Sin, and then Janna, Diana are your carries. Then you splash in Altruist, Irelia, whatever you can hit. But I can fight these guys later. I kind of want to make 30. So you're playing like, uh... Story Weavers, Rakan, Wukong. This is pretty much your board. Archangels. I have an open tier. This is Belt. Alright, let's see if I can continue winning. I have an Archangels now. Archangels with uh, these. This good front line here. 
it's gonna hold up pretty well. This arena is playing KDA music from previous sets. Diana 2 and my board is good. Right now it's like, it's okay. My board's decent, but this board is really strong. They're using that uh, Stars Are Born really well. Gain A, X, B, and three free rerolls. Honestly, it's it's it doesn't sound bad here. Support cash gives me another support item. Someone already surrendered. Pretty sure they were AFK. I mean, in this comp, you want Rage Blade, right? So maybe Bow is fine. Let's go for it. I want to roll in 6 a little bit, try to get John at 3. Also, losing here is okay now, because I lost my streak. And also because I want a rod. Okay, I get a free round here. I mean, this is Story Weaver. Might as well just... Like, you, you don't play Zoe in this comp. You, the three Story Weavers you want are Riven, Galio, and Irelia. You can play Zyra until you hit Armelia, pretty much. This is your comp. I am pretty concerned about the... the Gnar player. This is gonna be... very difficult to deal with later. Or this is the- this is the wrong Gnar player, but the one that has mulched. Or- or like, the one with the- the, the Banshees. Who was it? Yeah, this this player here. Oh, I guess it is the right NAR player. Or wait, are there, I'm so confused. Are there two NAR players? Okay, there's only one. Apparently, I'm, I'm just losing my mind. Alright, forget about it. Carousel, I'm going to go for Rod or Sword. Both are fine. Cane with triple items. I really need Diana too. Also, I need to complete my Diana items. So, yeah, kind of taking a beating right now. But I'm only level 5. Let's start rolling at 6. Just 3 star her real quick. Lesser champion duplicator, it helps my case here. There's no rod, so highest cost sword. Yone or Shusana, doesn't matter. I mean, with two duplicators, I only have to find two Janas. I'm not sure if I want to use a regular duplicator on her, though. But I could try to 3 star her as quickly as I can, and then just push levels. This also works. Two Ultras. Okay, I could, I could drop them off right now. I'm not gonna roll below 40, I think 40 is a good stopping point for now. Final item is gonna be Rage Blade. I need Diana too. I'm gonna keep saying that. But this is really just my front line. Because this easy rot's not gonna really help that much. It 
In this comp, you just really need good frontline, and Diana 3 provides that. D enter the dragon. Pretty cool augment. Two components. Magic. This gives you two rods, right? Uh, I'm just gonna assume it gives two rods. Okay, it's here and a rod. I mean, I needed the rod anyway. Alright, let's continue. Looks like they're going for Soraka reroll. And they're, I mean, okay, I'll stabilize off Diana 2 and just push levels, but I want to find Janna 3. So when you're being contested in cases like this, you just... Tr you try to, like, 3-star whoever you can as soon as possible. In this case, Janna. And then you just push levels. At the very least, Diana 2. And see what happens. I'm fighting the, the very strong board. Even, if, even, even though it's a ghost. I'm getting hammered. Also, I fought this person twice because the other person surrendered. That's a uh, matchmaking for you. Okay, I want to three star Janna pretty soon. You just dying a pair. Don't need this. In this comp, you could three star Zyra if you find a bunch of them. And then you don't play Irelia later. Because Zyra is actually pretty good, but... Actually, like, because I'm playing around Dragon dragon Lords. I feel like I don't really care about Zyra right now. I'd rather save the gold and use it on the other units. Diana 2. Okay, this also... Honestly, I'm just gonna use Duplicator. Like, I need to stabilize my front line. And that Duplicator was free, anyway. Let's make Redemption, another front line item. This could be Declaw. And then these remaining items can go on whoever, like Irelia or something. So with Diana 2, a much better front line. I didn't want to roll too deep because I want to push level still. So I found John at 3, let's just uh, continue pushing levels. Sage Crown. Let me look at the stats. 4.4. .4. Final Ascension. 4.2. Unleashed, I mean, like, I already have AP items, so I don't need it. This is a... that's a very funny joke. Yeah, let's go for final ascension. Huge. Um, Kale, you want the attack speed one. Okay, nice. ZZ Rot. Hitting Galio here was actually pretty good. Alright, let's start pushing levels. So I'm missing Lee Sin, Rick Khan, Wukong, Irelia. Replace it for Zyra later. So yeah, the more frontline, the better this comp. And if you could stall long enough, the... Yeah, that's, that's a lot of damage. And I'm getting 20% uh, extra true damage. This is basically like Giant Slayer almost, but with true damage. Heavenly... I mean, I'll, I'll splash in any Heavenly Champion in the meantime. Or an Invoker. 
Annie's pretty good. Oh, Loon's okay. Two star Lee Sin. This person's playing super aggressively. Also, I don't think I'm fighting a single Lee Sin. They already have five of them. Six. What is going on? Well, I guess I'm not playing for Dragon Lord unless I just get a random Lee Sin out of luck. My front line fell apart. I'm still level 6, that's a problem, but I I have the 3 star, so I just have to keep up in levels. Oh yeah, th yeah, this is, yeah, this is the Gnar being a problematic. There's a Rakan. I'm on last pick, or third pick, pretty much last pick. I think I'll go for D-Claw. Stone Place also fine. I think D-Claw is a little bit better. I mean, this person, yeah, this, like, they're just going for all the units that I need. Too heavenly, my whole team gains a little bit of armor, magic, resist. Nar player, I'm not very optimistic about that. Three cost unit, three star, they sold it, they didn't even use it. Probably level 8 on 5-2. I'm gonna be honest, like, I don't think this comp is very good. Unless you hit Diana 3. So... I guess it's just whether... This other player who's holding all of Diana's... Goes last or not. Doesn't look like it though. So I think I am just fighting for a top 4 here. But I'll do what I can. Attack speed, I mean AD or armor, probably armor, right? Or double Galio. Built difference, level 8, didn't really hit anything. Diana is being targeted, like there's no tomorrow. It's close. Oh, okay, I won. I, I did expect myself to win that, but she cast it at the very last second. Still never finding a single Lee Sin. I think their board is just better because they have the traits. But if I could get this board, something like this board, I'm pretty sure I can beat the board because I have 3 star Janna. But I do need a better frontline, so Galio hopefully or something. Galio 2. I'm gonna ignore th the fact that that thing combined. Random orn. Oh wait, this also works. Soraka. Azir. Azir doesn't fit on this board.
I do need some form of anti-heal, so that's why I went for this. Let's just make a Rage Blade for Irelia if I find her. Open Glove, it doesn't really matter. I would feel a little bit better if I had Galio too. Yeah, this is looking like a top 4 at the very least. Oh yeah, they're still holding the lease in. That's kind of annoying, but okay, whatever. They're level 9 already because of slamming. Actually, I mean, in order to beat this, I think I have to be level 9 as well. Or Diana 3, but they're holding Diana, so... I don't know, it's, it's tough. There's a there's a rule in TFT. Whenever you have a good spot to play a comp that's not played very often, there's gonna be someone random in your lobby just hard contesting every single unit that you want to play out of nowhere. And then the next 50 games you play, you never get this comp or the opportunity to play a comp. And then the first like there's nobody playing your units ever. It's just how TFT works. I mean, do I stay eight in reroll or do I push levels? That's the real question. So I'm gonna see. Okay, I guess time to find out. Does my board get dumpstered or do I dumpster their board? They have a lease in two, so I'm pretty sure I get dumpstered here. But I mean, like, because I'm never finding a lease in now. There's only one in the pool left. I'm pretty sure their board beats mine because I just don't have enough frontline. I do have final session though. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess my board beats theirs. Combat augment difference. I mean that. Okay, that's that's. I I honestly didn't expect myself to win that. I thought I was going to get dumpstered. That's surprising, actually. That's Galio too. I'm going to take this if it doesn't get taken. No, don't take the bramble. No. Okay. Um. Ravidons. Traka. Or this guy, bigger shield. Do I have to roll here? I'm not really scared of this player. I'm a death cap Soraka, actually. Jeez. I mean, it's impossible for them to get lead 3, unless they duplicate enough of them. I honestly believe pushing levels here is actually wrong. But I don't know, I don't, I don't know if I'm good enough at the game to know if that's actually the correct decision. Because I like, if this player dies, I can finally find the least in that I need. But, like, I should also be level 9 pretty soon. Okay, I think I can roll here a little bit. Galio 2. Please. Galio 2. Now here's Irelia.
Also, uh, Irelia without Duelist is terrible, but if you have Rageblade, it's fine. It's like it's like basically like she has Duelist in. Still streaking. So yeah, when you play Irelia, you want to play at least Duelist or Rageblade. Uh, the reason for that is because obviously attack speed. If you have Rageblade, you don't have to play Duelist. But Lee Sin fits the syner synergies pretty well. If you're playing around Irelia for the most part. But in cases like this where you can't get a single Lee Sin, like here, for example, they're still holding the Lee Sins. My items are also really split between my units. Let's go for Giant Slayer. I might just reforge this. I could get something better. I mean, that honestly is fine. <laughs> Children. Okay, if I dumpster this board, then that's good news. If I don't, I mean, they have Galio 2 now. I actually don't even know if I win this anymore. That Dragon Lord proc hurts a lot. Diana is getting a bunch of stun play value, but I don't know if it's enough. Cast. Cast. Oh, it's so close. Alright, the other person holding Elisa is finally dead. Alright. Is it correct to level or is it correct to roll here? I, I, I'm I starting to think it's actually correct to level. Because I want to play Lee Sin. Now the question is, is my frontline good enough to deal with Mulched Gnar? With Martyr? Probably not, but I guess I'll find out. I don't think I'm beating this. Like, yeah, I have anti-heal with this on fire, but I'm pretty sure Galio's gonna die any second now. Yeah, Diana's dead already. <laughs> Maybe final ascension, but it's not looking too great. Yeah, I don't think I'm beating that. Especially with since they have Martyr. Part of me wants to level, but part of me also wants to roll. Alright, I'll just take one more turn. I mean, I'm not in kill range anyway, so... Might as well. I believe in you, Final Ascension. I get a free turn, I think, because I'm fighting a ghost. Actually, I think I made I think they made themselves weaker by dropping Soraka, if I'm being honest. Soraka is a pretty important unit on this board. Who wins the Zyra? Or the Zir? Looks like Nara wins. Okay, level next turn and roll. I mean, there's a recon pair, don't mind if I do. If I two-star recon, I'll itemize him, otherwise... Uh, just put this on Galio, if I two-star, like, whichever one I two-star. And if I don't two-star either one of them, I'll just, I'll just cry instead.
This is Sage. Hmm. Alright, Diana the Reed's not happening. Stark of the Reed's still a possibility. It's just up to beating this board. I'm actually okay with the second place. I was contested. Double contested. So, if I beat this board, I get second place. That's that's good enough for me. I'm still thinking about whether my decision to roll at 8 a little bit was correct or not. Or I, I should have just rushed to 9. Because I wanted to hit... Soraka 3 or Dino 3. Okay, it's a second place. And then here I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be losing to Nar probably. Because it's Nar. Maybe maybe four Dragon Lord makes a difference, who knows? And then Irelia 2 is a way to make my board a little bit better as well. Are they going to swap? It doesn't look like it's... I was thinking they were going to swap, so I was going to fake swap. Honestly though, it's Gnar, so like, does it even matter? This unit is just... I mean, I think I need Diana 3 to beat this, or like, I really need to. This unit is just... So unbelie unbelievably... Annoying to deal with right now. Okay, looks like I won this fight. Maybe, maybe Final Session <laughs> Brute Force is, is the way to deal with Nar. I don't know. Because Janna did a lot of true damage. Maybe this board can deal with Nar, even with uh, Banshees. But honestly, that kind of looked like Fight RNG as well. Also, this is stage 7, so whoever wins the next fight wins the game. Alright, Wukong 2, Soraka 3, something, I don't know. Wukong 2. Lee 2. I really a pair. I mean, the game's over, pretty much. Uh, honestly, death cap for a bigger shield. It's not even the. It's not even bad. Okay, they switch sides. I actually think it's better if they switch sides because that gives me opportunity to ramp up even more. So just protect Jana. I didn't bother scouting because honestly, like it's Nar. Down is still alive. Final session. Cast. Okay, nice. It looks like the true damage is enough to deal with it. Well, there's a Dragon Lord Diana Janna carry with double contested. GG. So, Emerald 4. This is a good example of what to do when you're being contested. You basically just want to push levels, try to upgrade your unit if possible and just try to keep up with the pace in the lobby. As for when to roll, maybe it just depends on the game. I felt like rolling on 8 was also correct, but maybe pushing levels would have been better. I'll have to rewatch this game.